Welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful morning here in western Pennsylvania, although it's pretty cold this morning. Overnight we got down into the 20s. Now I think later on today it's going to get up around 50 degrees, so that should be pretty nice. But anyway, this morning I'm sitting there on my computer and I looked at my phone, I got a text message, and I just happened to look at the date and I realized it's the middle of November. And I'm like, how in the world did that happen? You know, this year has just flown by. And I've been struggling lately to kind of get anything done around here because I've been real busy at work. It gets dark early, all that kind of stuff. So I haven't got a lot done on the building. I am going to take care of a few things here this morning. and I'll show you what I have going on. Now we're going to talk about kind of what's going to go on here over the next month or two. So I think it was, uh, I don't know when it was, last weekend. I put some of this geotextile down here and started building this road around the building here. Putting this 2A limestone down. And by the way... There are a lot of questions on the uh, geotextile. People are asking, what is the point of using that? You know, is it to keep weeds from coming up through the rock? No, that's not what it's for. It kind of has a bridging effect, I guess, over softer spots. Although this material under here is real good shale, uh, the geotextile is just good insurance, and it also saves you on stone. It's not pounding the stone down in the dirt and sinking. It works kind of like a bridge. So that answers that. But anyway, uh, last week I started this around the building. Now I need a little bit more around the sides here, so I just dumped some here with the uh, BX23S. I'm going to go a little bit further and then uh, hop on the MX5400, and we'll kind of grade this out real nice and roll it in. This 2A limestone, when I put it down, was really dry, and this stuff compacts really well once it gets wet. Well, we had some rain this week. So uh, I should be able to get it rolled in pretty good. And we may add a little bit more geotextile around here and just kind of keep working our way around. Something else people have been asking about is, you may see me when I go into a pile of stone. A lot of times I go up to the top and I pull some back and kind of flatten it out and I ask why I do that. Uh, there's two reasons. Number one, it keeps you from uh, chasing your pile of stone all over the place. But more importantly... Uh, it's a lot easier to get a full bucket without really stressing the machine or, you know, it's just much easier. And the reason is, you know, say you go into the bottom of this pile right here and you're trying to fill that bucket up. Well, you're picking up a lot of weight or trying to up above it. So when you get in there and just kind of pull it back a little bit, flattens it out, you can just cruise right in there, curl the bucket, full bucket of stone every time. All right, so anyway, I'm going to hop on the uh, MX, grade this up here, and I uh, may have to bring another bucket or two of stone over. We'll see. And then after that, we're going to talk about uh, what's going to be happening here the next month and a half or so.
So I was talking earlier about, uh, you know, how fast this year has flown by. Well, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving would be a week from Thursday. Yeah, week from Thursday. So I was doing some planning there, you know, vacation planning. And I'm going to be off. I think 11 days total. Yeah. Thursday, Thanksgiving, Friday, then the entire next week. So it'll be 11 straight days. Which is a good thing. Now normally that time of year, the weather's not that great. However, I'll have plenty of work to do inside the building. So then, over Christmas, I'm off 16 days straight. This is a nice day to do this. There's no wind. When it's real windy, it can be a uh, real bugger laying this stuff out. Blown all over the place. It's got like big wrinkles all through it. Alright, I got more uh, geotextile down. I'm not going to go any further than that right there because I don't have much 2A limestone left and I'm going to be digging my electric line up through the yard over there and into the building so no sense putting stone down where I'm going to dig it up. Something to keep in mind when you're using this geotextile, what I like to do you know when you're piecing things together I like to make sure my overlaps are going like this direction so what I mean is here I'll just show you you know I'm coming this way with the stone and you like to overlap this way and I overlap about a foot that way when you're dumping stone or pushing stone it's gonna go right out over top of it if you have it the other way you know and you're stone in this direction here this can roll up you'll get stone underneath it you'll have fabric popping up and it's kind of a mess so I hope that makes sense all right, I'm going to bring around just a couple more buckets of 2A with a little tractor put right in here. But out in this area here, it's not as solid as it is around the corner. So I am going to put a little bit more stone there, and I'll put some of that base rock down. I mean, it's going to come out just great, but it's not quite as hard as it is over that direction. Oh, and by the way, I'm looking at my work truck right there. It reminds me, the other day... Uh, some guys, a whole bunch of people actually saw a brand new deck that Silverado sitting in the driveway. Thought it was my new work truck. That was not my new work truck. Still running that old girl right there. Uh, that truck was a buddy of mine's, Greeny. He was out uh, hunting out in a mini cabin and uh, that was his nice Chevy that he had there. This one here, I got right at about 100,000 miles on it now. It's actually been pretty good, but I'll be honest, compared to my F-150, which is a Lariat, it's got the 3.5 twin turbo and all that stuff, night and day difference. I mean, I really like the Ford, but it's not an apples to apples comparison at all. This is kind of a stripped down work truck, but my Ford is just, I don't know, way more nicer, way more comfortable, uh, a lot nicer truck. But like I said... Two totally different trucks. I'm not bashing Ford versus Chevy. I'm just telling you, I would much rather be driving that F-150, you know, four or five hours a day than this truck here.
I got this uh, 2A limestone wrapped around the corner here. Now I'm going to get on the MX and bring some of that number three rock in, put just a layer of that, especially on that outside edge, and then I'll use up what 2A I have. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to go any further than this right here because uh, I'll be digging that electric line soon and just tearing it up anyway. But yeah, this is going to make a nice drive around the building here. Nice and solid. It'll be plenty wide enough. I can loop right around here. It'll be good. So yeah, I think there's only like 47 days left between now at the end of the year. And I have reached that point where I'm going to be off more than I'm actually working. And I'm pretty excited about that. Sometimes you get frustrated. You're not getting enough done. You know, there's not enough hours in the day and it gets dark early. But I have gotten so much better at just kind of dealing with that and not even worrying about it, to tell you the truth. Like right now, on nice days like this, I'm going to concentrate on stuff on the outside. Over Thanksgiving break and over Christmas break, I'll be working inside this building. So that's kind of the plan right there. I am going to do some hunting this year uh, over Thanksgiving, the following week. Just kind of enjoy myself and spend time with the family and uh, hope to have a good holidays. I do. It's been a crazy year. It really has. And I'm going to do my best to get a lot of things done, but at a good pace, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to get excited because that's not good to get excited.
right, that's looking good. I see that uh, Archie left his uh, tug rope here. Doesn't take care of his stuff. But anyway, I am just about out of 2A limestone. But I did get out around this corner here. And uh, also, just as a general rule of thumb, if you're building a driveway like this or something, you're using a geotextile and like number three rock, you usually need two loads of the 2A for every single load of the three rock. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, I'm really looking forward to the holidays this year, having some time off work, both to get a few things done and spend some time with the family. And I think that's about it for today's video. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.